Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 455. What is Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's disease is a degenerative disorder of the central nervous system in which there is loss of dopaminergic neurons and excess cholinergic activity. What types of drugs are useful in the treatment of Parkinson's disease? Parkinson's disease is treated with drugs that are dopamine agonists. Parkinson also can be treated with drugs that increase dopamine level or the ones that prevent dopamine breakdown and can also be treated with drugs that decrease cholinergic activity. Name the drugs used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease that are dopamine agonists. The dopamine agonist used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease includes bromocryptine, which is an ergot, promipexol, and ropinirole. And ropinirole is a non-ergot, and non-ergots are preferred here. What is ergot? Ergot is a type of fungus that occurs on rye. What are the drugs that can increase dopamine levels to treat Parkinson's disease? The drugs to increase dopamine levels used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease are amantadine and the combination of L-DOPA and carbidopa. What is the mechanism of action of amantadine used in Parkinson's disease? The mechanism of action of amantadine used in Parkinson's disease is to increase the level of dopamine and this drug may also increase dopamine release. What are some other conditions in which amantadine can be used? Amantadine can also be used as an antiviral agent against influenza A and to treat rubella. What are the side effects or toxicities of amantadine? The side effects or toxicities of amantadine is ataxia. How does L-DOPA and carbidopa work in the treatment to increase dopamine? L-DOPA and carbidopa are converted into dopamine when they get to the CNS. Name the drugs that prevent dopamine breakdown used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. The drugs that prevent dopamine breakdown used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease include selegiline, entacapone, and tolcapone. What is the mechanism of action of selegiline? The mechanism of action of selegiline is that it's a selective MAO type B inhibitor. And MAO stands for monoamine oxidase, so it's a selective monoamine oxidase type B inhibitor. What is the mechanism of action of entacapone or tolcapone? The mechanism of action of entacapone or tolcapone is that they are COMP inhibitors. And COMP stands for catechol or methyl transferase. And when that enzyme is inhibited, it prevents L-DOPA degradation. So if you're preventing L-DOPA breakdown, this would lead to increased dopamine availability. What drugs are used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease to decrease excess cholinergic activity? The drug used to decrease excess cholinergic activity is benztropine. What is the mechanism of action of benztropine? Benztropine is an anti-muscarinic agent. What symptoms of Parkinson's are prevented by benztropine? Benztropine prevents tremors and rigidity, but it has little effect on bradykinesia. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that benztropine can be used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember, park your Mercedes Benz. So that's park is for Parkinson's and Benz is for benztropine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all the drugs used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember B-A-L-S-A, -A, BALSA. And that B standing for bromocryptine, A standing for amantadine, L standing for levodopa or L-DOPA, which is usually given with carbidopa, the S which stands for selegiline, which prevents dopamine breakdown along with COMPT inhibitors, and the last A standing for anti-muscarinics. What drug is used in the treatment of essential or familial tremors? For essential or familial tremors, use a beta blocker like propranolol. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.